All right, let's roll. So we have one and only Eric joining us on the Zoom today. He has been with EXP for one year and recruited over a thousand agents within his first year of EXP. What? So yeah, he's gonna teach us how to do this because obviously we haven't got there yet. That's, that's a hell of an introduction. Actually, it's been about a year and a half and I've been really, really fortunate. Um, oh, wow. My background. Really? <laughs> Half. Say it again. It's been a year and a half. Let's get that right. Yeah. Been about a year and a half. Um, and it's been hard work. It's really been about working a system, rolling up my sleeves, and being really, really dedicated and focused. I'm going to quickly give you my background. And after today's call, what I hope to do is lend some insight how to really build your EXP organizations. So I've been in the industry for about almost 30 years. I took a brief break. I was an investment banker for a company based out of San Francisco called Robertson Stevens. But for, for the most part of the last 30 years, I've been in real estate first as a producer, as a realtor. I sold 128 homes my second year in real estate in California. Now this is back in 1990, 1991, which explains the gray hair, right? We all know that the longer you're in real estate, we're gluttons for punishment. Um, so I've been in the industry for about 30 years and fell in hard financial times about in April of 2019. So a little over two years ago, I had coached over 10,000 realtors um, throughout my, the course of my career. Um, I was fairly well known nationally. My coaching classes were promoted by every single title company in the country and um, really went from the penthouse to the outhouse like this in April of 2019. Um, I have a 20 year old son who's the love of my life. I've been single since he's about a year and um, school didn't come easy, easy to him. I think he really worked hard to get everything that he accomplished. He was admitted to Syracuse University, which is a private school in upstate New York. It's about $80,000 a year. And one of the most humbling or embarrassing times of my life is that I was unable to foot the bill for his education. Fortunately, put it on mute. fortunately um, he has a stepfather who's super successful an investment banker, kind and generous, and was nice enough to fit the bill for uh, Jackson's first year of education at Syracuse. Um, I had heard about the EXP model about two years prior to April, till April of 2019. And you guys know that self-talk that we all do in the back of our head. I'm all this, I'm all that. I'm a well-known national real estate coach. I had been worth millions of dollars. I'm never gonna talk to realtors. I spent two years trying to blow holes into the model of EXP, why it wouldn't work. And here I was poor and destitute. And I come from a family of overachievers. My younger brother's a vascular surgeon. My sister's a Yale physician, married to a Yale physician. So I've been surrounded by success my entire life. And here I was at the time, 58 years old, and I didn't know how the hell I was gonna pay for the roof over my head or put food on the table. So as I had mentioned, I heard about the EXP model two years prior, spent two years saying, oh, this is bullshit. This will never work. You know, coming up with reason after reason why I shouldn't be a part of the EXP. And what I realized after two years, guys and gals, was there were no holes that needed to be plugged in the model. The model was exactly what the model was. The model allows realtors to keep more of their hard-earned commission. It provides a myriad of different revenue streams for realtors to make more money than they ever dreamed possible and it allows realtors, the EXP platform allows realtors to run the most efficient real estate business possible. And I made a solemn vow to myself. I said, I am never gonna be that slick oil salesperson that goes out there and rams this platform down people's, uh, down people's throat. What my mindset was, was the most spiritually healthy mindset possible. I said, I'm gonna be of service to people and I'm gonna approach them in the most spiritually healthy manner possible by listening to what their needs were and carefully comparing and contrasting what their current brokerage offered them versus what EXP had to offer. And I believed in my heart of hearts at the end of the day, unless a realtor was wearing blinders, had their hands over their ears, or were completely fiscally irresponsible, I believe that EXP would resonate with realtors, not just here nationally, but around the globe kept my head down and I still stayed really focused. I didn't have anything else to do with my time. I didn't have a job, I was bankrupt. Kept my head down, stayed really focused and I've been really fortunate. I have sponsored personally about 50 people 
within the 18 months, 19 months I've now been with eXp, my group just crossed or is approaching, I should say, 1,100 realtors. What's amazing to me in that 18 months, I have created an income stream for myself that won't just pay me one or two, but millions and millions of dollars a year for the rest of my life. EXP has completely transformed the way that I'm able to now provide for my son, who I didn't know how I was going to provide for 18 months ago, and for those that I love in my life. It's completely, completely turned my life upside down and has secured my financial future. And it gives each and every one of us the exact same opportunity. I want you to think about this. Company had 466 realtors. 466 realtors in 2016. We just crossed 65,000. Could we all agree that's significant growth? Mm -hmm. Fastest growth out of any real estate company in the history of real estate. Nancy, I see you nodding. Amazing, right? 65,000 realtors. You want to hear something more amazing? We're at the very tip of the iceberg in terms of our growth curve. We'll have over a million agents when, in, within the next six to seven years. Monica was at the Dallas convention, Brent Gove's growth conference. As you went up the escalator into the conference, big, big banners all along the uh, escalators. A million agents within the next six to seven years. Arthur, unmute yourself if you wouldn't mind. Hey, how you doing? Good, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. What does that speak to you for you? The fact that we're at 65,000 agents on our way to a million agents over the next six, seven years. What does that say to you? It's a lot of room to keep going to hit two million after that. I feel like if we're going at that rate in 10 Guys, years, we might get at three more million. So we are at the very tip of the iceberg. We are at the very tip of the iceberg in terms of the growth of this company. Do you realize right now there are 17 individuals at eXp with over 5,000 people in the organization? Do you realize that once you have 40 FLQ agents, you're making over $4 million when you have 5,000 people in your organization? You want to hear something more exciting? Do you realize that three people at eXp have over 15,000 individuals in their organization? making over a million dollars a month. Now, what's incredible about this is that any one of those individuals, myself and each and every one of you, once you start building out an organization, the beauty of the organization is it grows by itself. The brilliance of the model is the fact that we don't have brick and mortar allows for the company to, take, to be incredibly generous and provide realtors something that no realtor has ever had before. A sense of ownership in the fastest growing real estate company of all time. In that form of ownership, I was on the phone yesterday. I recruited the top Keller Williams agent out of Pennsylvania. I'm here in Miami. Never met this guy. I met him on a cold call. Cold call. <laughs> and we're talking and I, he's telling me how much money he makes a year. He makes, his team does well over $150 million in production. And I asked him the following question. I said, God forbid something happened to you. I said, I'm assuming making multiple millions of dollars a year. You've increased your standard of living. Because we all know in life, the more you make more, right? We spend more. We want to live in a nicer or bigger home. We want to drive a nicer car. We want to buy boats and have all these toys. I said, what happens? I said, I noticed that you have a young family. What happens to your young family if you're not able to produce at the same level, if God forbid something happened to you? that you had produced previously. He said to me, Eric, I never thought of it like that. I mean, think about this. Anybody here do north of 25 transactions that you sell in a given year? Anybody do north of 25 transactions? Yep. So you're making a good living in real estate. Watch what happens though. If you're doing over 25 transactions or however many transactions, you have become accustomed to living a certain lifestyle. You gotta go back out in 2022 and produce at the same level in order to maintain that standard of living. When I bring in 25 agents, when I bring in 25 agents, I have secured my future because myself, very much like a broker, I get paid a residual and passive income stream as long as those agents remain affiliated with EXP. And now the beauty is the following, as all of you know, the beauty is the following. I have no legal liability. 
I have no outlay of capital. I don't have to manage or supervise anybody. I've got to go out there and list agents the same way that each and every one of you go out there in an effort to list houses. But what makes this model so, so spectacular is that I have own ownership in the form of being able to build an organization just like a broker with none of the disadvantages, as I mentioned, like liability, like capital outlay, like managing and supervising others, but I have a tremendous advantage. My advantage is the following. When I bring an, an agent into the EXP organization, they become a recruiting arm for me because very much like myself, they have the same opportunity to build out their own organization. The beauty of the model is when they come in, I'm their partner. It behooves me to take whatever time, effort, and resources are necessary to give them in order to help them build their organization because the more money they make, guess what? Who else makes money? Me. The brilliance of the model is we're the sum of all parts pulling in the same direction in order to build a business. I mean, you think about the conventional real estate office, traditional real estate office. Two agents are sitting there doing floor time. Somebody walks in the office. Both agents run at the poor bastard and tackle them in an effort to do that, in an effort to secure their business. At EXP, the model is completely different. We're all pulling in the same direction together to have the success that each and every one of us want, need, and desire. Incredible. Incredible the amount of wealth that's being built to the organization. Now, I'm going to give you a system today that I've created. I run my system based on templates. Everything that I do is scripted, right? Who in today's call believes that the guy that's flipping burgers at McDonald's is doing it based on what he thinks is the right time to flip, flip a burger? Of course not. They have a net mechanism. They have a system in place. A bell goes off, a light goes off. Something tells that person when to flip a burger. Could we all agree? Mm -hmm. That's why they have food that's consistent. I run my business the exact same way. I need, leave nothing up to chance. The way I approach somebody, the materials that I send out, how my entire day is structured, everything is scripted to ensure that I could have the success that I want, need, and desire. I'm going to go over a couple of things that I think is essential to have, and then I'll give you these tools and systems. Number one, be really clear about what you want to accomplish. It is as clear as the day is long for me. So I'll quickly tell you my goals. I have said anybody who knows me on my team, and I do a team call for my team at 2 p.m. Wednesdays. Every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern, I do my own team call. And if people that are a part of this call every Wednesday, we talk about goal setting. You need to be really clear about what it is that you want to have accomplished. And folks, it should be written down. You have got to see it. you got to own it. It's got to be a part of who you are. I truly believe that you manifest what you want in life from your personal relationships to your financial security. So I have manifested this entire thing. I said I will be at 1,000 agents. I crossed 1,000 agents by September 1st, and I did. I said I'll have close to 2,000 agents. I'll have between 1,800 to 2,000 agents by the end of this year. So four more months, right? September, October, November, December, yeah, four months. I'll be at almost 2,000 agents. By the end of 2022, I'll have between six to 7,000 agents. My goal is as clear as a day is long. I wanna have 25, well, I need 28, 28,500 agents so I can make $2 million a month and provide for those that I love in my life and to be able to give freely from my heart you need to be really clear what it is that you're setting out to accomplish. And once you're clear about that, I promise no one can stop you. And I'm not a religious fanatic. I'm spiritual. Not, I wouldn't call myself over. I walk around with a gold card. Can't see it. I'm holding it up because of the background. I walk around with a gold card in my pocket. Really clear. I know. And I'm the least, you know, believe me, you know, I mean, I'm a UCLA graduate. I played beach volleyball. I didn't have a job till I was 30. I lived the good life. It was all about it's all about mindset. Be really clear, put your goals in writing, carry it around with you, and they'll become a reality. Number two is you have to have a clearly defined system in place. Otherwise, you're flying blindly. Would anybody ever get in a plane with a pilot, didn't have a flight plan to take you from point A to point B? Of course not. If you wouldn't get on a plane with a pilot that didn't have a fl uh, flight plan, how do you try to run a business unless you have a plan in place that you could execute on? So you need to have a system in place 
that you are super confident will yield you the results that all of you want, need, and desire. Number three, be relentless and work in the system. I am not gonna tell you, I built an organization of 1,100 people in a, in a year and a half. I'm not gonna tell you it was easy. I worked my tail off. I worked hard. And because of that year and a half, I've created a business that will pay me millions and millions of dollars a year for the rest of my life. So you have to come at it relentless. It has to be on your calendar when you're going to focus on building your business. And I don't believe it comes down to one or the other. You can either be a successful realtor or you focus on an organization. I believe successful realtors, it gives you a leg up to having a successful EXP organization. What do I mean? I'm the only person on my team that doesn't sell. You know, my whole focus is building my organization. But I believe if you're an active agent, as an active agent, are we not always communicating with other agents? We're asking for off, we're asking, we're listening to offers, we're making offers, we're asking for disclosures. We've got friends and former colleagues in the business. We're already conversing with realtors. To become, to build an effective EXP organization, it's a simple add-on to a conversation that's already happening. It's learning how to ask a question with a high level of confidence and comfortability. Because it's often not what we say, it's how the message is conveyed. And if you're uncomfortable asking somebody if they're open-minded to exploring a platform, that would allow them to keep more of the hard-earned commissions and maybe align with the direction that they want to take their real estate business by offering multiple streams of income, one of which happens to be passive. Nancy, would you find that compelling and would you be open-minded? And I want you to say open-minded. I want you to say open-minded. Why do I say open-minded? Because if you're not open-minded, what are you? Close-minded. Close-minded, right? It's not a good thing to be. You can't call someone a moron, right? But you could, you could kind of convey a message that are you open-minded if you're not, you're closed-minded. So be really, really relentless in working your system. Don't give up. Nobody is doing you a favor coming aboard the EXP. You are taking every realtor, most of which live commission check to commission check, and many of which don't have any money to retire on. You are giving every realtor ac across the globe an opportunity to fend for themselves and a for themselves and their families in a way that most realtors never, ever, ever dream possible. Don't let anybody intimidate you. You are come, a, come at this from providing a high level of service to somebody. What I most love about the platform is not only have I built tremendous wealth in a year and a half, but everybody who I approach about EXP has the same opportunity as me to build wealth and better provide for themselves and their family have that mindset. So have the mindset of dreaming big. Remember, it's as easy to aim low as it is high. Set your goals. It's okay to wanna to build wealth. And it's okay knowing that if you build wealth, the way that you become wealthy at eXp is by helping the people in your organization grow and build their company. So as you're building your wealth, they're building theirs as well. It's incredibly powerful. So dream big, get out of your own way and manifest what you want. And I said before, and I want, to be, I want to reiterate this, come at it from the mindset of being of service. I never think, oh, I'm going to make money off of this person. I always think, how can I be of service? How can I connect on the phone with somebody? How can I really, really be of service to them? How are you of service to somebody? How do you become of service? Anybody have any idea? How do you become of service to somebody? How do you deliver service, a high level of service? You ready? Don't talk a lot. A great salesperson doesn't speak. A great salesperson listens. I ask question after question after question. I am constantly focused on understanding what is that person's goals? How are they going to obtain those goals? What do they like best about their current brokerage? And of equal importance, maybe more important. What would they do to change or modify that relationship? They're giving you their, point, their, their pain points. So I had been a real estate coach, like I said, for 20, 25 years. I've done most of my coaching in California, here now in Florida, Arizona, and Colorado. It's really funny. When I joined EXP, the 7,500 to 10,000 agents that I had crossed across, that I have coached across the United States, 
all of them treated me like a leper. I was like the ugly stepchild that had a bad case of acne almost overnight, right? Nobody took my phone call. It was crazy. They knew why I was calling. I want to talk about EXP. Everybody pushed back. Out of the 50 people that I have brought into EXP, they all came from cold calls. You guys want to hear a great story? So I'm a big believer. In order to build an organization, you have to be an you have to land an influencer. Everyone know what I mean by an influencer, a whale, a general in your organization, somebody who's going to build out a massive organization. So I'm always thinking third party vendors. I'm thinking team leaders. I'm thinking real estate coaches. Well, here in Miami Beach, we have a real estate coach. His name is Orlando Montiel. Anybody heard of Orlando Montiel? Maybe the biggest real estate coach in the world. Reason being, he Spanish speaking, well, English and Spanish, he's bilingual, but most of his clientele is Spanish. Well, here in Miami, I don't know, has anybody been to Miami recently? Yeah. Right? It's really not part of the United States. I say that jokingly, but it's tremendous Spanish influence. He's also the only real estate coach that's been endorsed by the Mexico National Association of Realtors. And watch my mindset. My mindset is always attracting an influencer. Doesn't have to, you don't need a lot of them. If you have one or two influencers, that will make you a millionaire. So I'm sitting in my apartment about a year ago and I'm around a couple of people that are listening to me cold call. My mindset is always that if you want to go fishing for small fishes, guppies, stand right here at the shoreline, cast your rod, and you're going to catch a small fish. If you want to catch a whale, take a boat and go out into the middle of the location. Point being is what you focus on is what you're going to attract is what you're going to catch. So I spend one hour a week trying to land influencers, whales, general, people that are going to make a significant difference in my business. So I'm sitting in my living room and I say to somebody, hey, what is the name of that Spanish speaking real estate coach here in Miami? Somebody says to me, Orlando Montiel. I said, by any chance, can you please fetch me his number? Gives me Orlando's number. I pick up the phone. And I leave a message in his voicemail. And I said, hi, Orlando. My name is Eric Orland. I said, I just moved to Miami from California about a year or so ago. And I know that you and I have coached some of the same clients. And I've heard really good things about the quality of your work, about the quality of your coaching. And I've also heard really nice things about what people say about you as a human being. And I'd love to collaborate with you. I'd love to connect with you. Nope. That's exactly. We kid around about it to this day calls me back in 10 minutes. Eric Orlando Montiel, nice to speak to you, yada, yada, we small talk. And I say to him, Orlando, I said, do you ever get tired of having to resell realtors on subscribing to your coaching services or having to sell realtors product after product? Because we all know they come in and they leave, they come in, they leave. I said, do you ever get sick of the herky jerkiness of the business? He said, Eric, it drives me crazy. I said, Orlando, have you ever contemplated? Listen, guys, these are all questions. I didn't talk, I asked. I said, Orlando, have you ever considered taking the existing rule to relationship you have and monetizing them so you could create a passive income stream? He said, Eric, I love the sound of that. What do you have in mind? I said, are you familiar with the XP? He said, yeah, but you know, I coach at Caldwell Banker, I coach at KW, I coach at... Um, Berkshire Hathaway, I don't want to sabotage my core business. I said, really? I said, are you familiar with Tim and Julie Harris? Tim and Julie are part of our group at Libertas. And are you familiar with Sean Kokoski? He said, of course, who doesn't know Tim and Julie Harris? And Sean ran Keller Williams. He, he's the one who created IMAPS and Bold at KW. I said, well, you know that they're affiliated with EXP. He said, oh my gosh. He said, aren't they concerned about sabotaging their business? I said, you know what? That's a great question to ask them. Perhaps I should get them on the telephone. Brought Tim and Sean onto the call. A month later, Orlando came on board. Orlando Montiel is the fastest growing person at EXP. Out of my 1,100 realtors that I brought in in a year and a half, guess who brought in 900 of them? Wow. Guys, that was a freaking cold call. All over EXP, that was a cold call. Got one better for you. Monica, you remember who I was in? You remember who I was in Dallas with? She's in the restaurant. <laughs> my timing has never been my timing has never been good. <laughs> Story of my life. So anybody work with Land Voice? 
come on guys, Red X, Land Voice. Yeah. Nobody knows who Red, uh, Land Voice is? Land Voice is one of the biggest third party vendors in real estate. They supply all the names and contact information for expired for sale by owners or if you wanna do circle prospecting around a specific property. Land Voice has got 100,000 100, clients. I know Land Voice. Call up Christoph, who runs Land Voice. I said, Christoph, how you doing? I said, good, Eric, how are you doing? I said, you know, I was thinking about you. I said, what's your position at, e at EXP? What's your position at Land Voice? He said, I run the organization. I said, how many clients do you guys have? He said, about 100,000. I said, I imagine people are always coming and leaving, coming and leaving. I said, have you built a relationship with a lot of those realtors? He said, absolutely. I said, can I ask if it's not being, if I'm not being too forward, are you making an income level that you find to be sufficient or enough money that's going to allow you to someday retire? He said, absolutely not. I said, have you thought about monetizing the 100,000 relationships that you have in place? I had this com conversation with Christoph Mazel over a year ago at Land Voice. Went out, he's in Utah. In Utah, you have to do, it's 120 hours to be able to sit for the real estate exam. Guess who just got his real estate license and came aboard the Land Voice? My point being is the following. Identify two influencers and you've got a multi-million dollar business. Think outside the box. All right here in front of me, my goal is really clear, right? KW team leaders, third-party vendors. What does a title rep and a lender do all day? They talk to realtors. You want to embrace those people and bring them into the organization because no matter who they are, every one of those people knows that EXP is the fastest growing real estate company on the planet. And we are at the very beginning. We're at the very tip of our growth curve. Every one of those people would be open to creating a passive and residual income. Any questions on anything I've said so far? Come on, I gave you a great story. I gave you some great content. Come on, theory. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Taking good notes. So yeah. go back to where you were, uh, your Monica story while she was gone. Yes, I'm back. The Monica story. I already told the story. <laughs> I was saying that when I was asking Monica, do you remember who I was in Dallas with? I don't know. Everybody, go, go. I don't know. You were hanging out with everyone. I was, I was there with uh, Christoph Mosel, who runs okay. Land Voice. But Red X, Red X. I mean, any third party vendor, what does a third party vendor do? They're constantly in front of realtors trying to sell their products or services, expand, think outside of the box. You know, most realtors in my organization think, oh, I'm going to bring on one realtor at a time. Yes, it's important to have 40 qualified realtors so you can get paid in all seven levels. But you also need a couple of influencers in your organization. And Monica and I talked about this yesterday. I know people in our group that have got 40 or 50 agents and they're not sponsoring the right type of agents. You need to have a cross section of different types of realtors and you need to have at least one preferably two or three influences in your organization. I bet you today, I probably have four to five influencers within my organization, including the one that I bought yesterday, who is a major, major, major team leader at KW. It's gonna send shockwaves. Remember that an influencer, people watch an influencer, especially if they're producing realtor. If somebody is doing north of $100 million in production and you bring them over to EXP, believe me, everybody in the community is watching that person make that move. Don't be intimidated by somebody who's, doing, who's rolling big numbers at Caldwell Banker, Keller Williams, Berkshire Hathaway, Remax. I don't care. You know what I realized? The person who I brought on board yesterday, do you realize that it was easier bringing him on board than almost any of the other realtors who do minimal business? A top producer is typically open-minded because they want to understand what new tool systems, what different, what different ways they can increase their revenue streams. EXP plays right into that mindset. Remember folks, EXP in six short years, six, has the number one or number two top producing realtors in 41 out of the 50 states. If I didn't say another damn thing on today's call, what does that convey to all of you listening? EXP is the number one or number two top producing agents in 41 out of the 50 states. Really <laughs> Pretty amazing, right? <laughs>
So let's roll up our sleeves. I want to spend some time with you and giving you tools and systems. And I always believe share it. I know that I'm not going to make any money from your production, but I believe that we are part of the same team. I believe that the more you give in life, the more you receive. It just comes back at you in waves, in waves. Don't protect what you have. Share it. Give it away. And the reality is that we're all business partners, even though we're in different organizations within the company, the more successful each and every one of you are in building out an organization, that helps build the brand, not just nationally, but globally. The more success that you're having, it makes it easier for me when I'm out there approaching a realtor to bring that person on because our brand continues to grow. So I'm going to share with you the tools and systems that I use and my focus. So everyone on my team I am the only person that does agent attraction calls. I do a call every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern and Thursday at four. So tonight I'm doing an agent attraction call. And in the year and a half, I am typically the only person that does an agent attraction call on the team, on my team. So you do not need to perfect giving an EXP presentation. I'm not gonna name names, but there are people out there that I think that are well-known that I think are awful. I'm giving a presentation. <laughs> I do. I think I do it. I think I do it particularly well. I think my skill set is so minimal. In my house, when I want to look sexy, I gotta put on a construction belt because I don't know how to put the gun thing. I don't have a, a callus or a blister on my hand, right? My skill set is very minimal. But I am very good at an agent attraction call. You don't need to master an agent attraction call. You need to allow your the people in your organization who are above you, who are really, really good, do that for you. But there's a caveat here. You need to understand how to approach somebody. You need to understand how to approach somebody in the most comfortable manner possible. Right? Because if you are not comfortable and confident, people see it a million miles away. It has to come steering through that you've got the secret sauce that is going to transform that realtor's life. So when I approach somebody, I come at it from a high level of confidence. You should, you should hear me on the phone. I was sending a text out to somebody today. Person canceled our nine o'clock call. This is my response. You'll love this. Cancels my nine o'clock call this morning. Where is this? I have to share this with you. It's hysterical. Um, uh, good. Uh, so... I, I had a call set up for me this morning. I said, good morning, Saeed. I'm looking forward to us connecting on a scheduled call for 10 a.m. Eastern. I'll be reaching out to you in approximately 30 minutes. So when you are dealing with realtors, I want you to treat them like Helen Keller. You have an appointment, start texting them 15 minutes, 10 minutes beforehand. Lead them like a horse, lead them to water, right? Because as you know, most realtors are not very successful respecting their calendar. So good morning, Saeed. I'm looking forward to us connecting on a scheduled call at 10 a.m. Eastern. I'll be reaching out to you in approximately 30 minutes. I can't be more descriptive. Hope your day's off to a great start. He writes back. Shocking, a realtor never cancels. Good morning, Eric. I have no plans at the moment to move around, so please cancel the appointment. Regards, Saeed. Okay. Not doing me a favor. I think I'd throw a little salt in his wound. Will do, Saeed. I'll cancel the appointment. Any interest in understanding how you could absolutely make more money in real estate with a brokerage partner that is transforming the real estate industry? I've been a national coach for 30 years and one of the top selling agents in, California, in the country. EXP is a career game changer, my friend. Please let me know when you have a change of cart if you're serious about fending better for yourself and your loved ones. <laughs> Guess who calls me within five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even timid. I got nothing. I don't, I'm never attached to the outcome because I come at people from a position of strength because I'm confident about what EXP has to offer. So should every one of you. You got to be able to know the story and you have to approach people coming from a place of comfort. So how do you approach somebody? You first build rapport with them. People are going to do business with you if they like you, if they, if, if they like you, if they trust you, and if they deem you as being competent and responsive to their needs. Who in today's call knows how to build rapport with somebody? It's an acronym. I'll give you a hint. It's a car. It's a ma car manufacturer. Ford. Come on, guys. Ford. Somebody just said it. Ford. Somebody just said it. It's Ford. F O R D. Family, occupation, relationships, dreams. It's family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. F O R D. 
If you want to get to know somebody, don't talk at them, man. Engage them. My goal is to say as little as possible because inevitably I'm going to get comfortable and put my foot in my mouth. My goal when I'm speaking to somebody is ask appropriate questions so I don't have to guess if somebody's comfortable with me. I know they're comfortable with me, Nancy, when they start sharing with me. My goal is to ask them about themselves. I ask them questions about family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. <clears throat> some, of the, some of the key questions that I ask is, outside of real estate, tell me a little bit about yourself. What's your background? Tell me about your family. Where do you live? How long have you lived there? How long have you been a realtor for? What did you do before real estate? What type of production do you currently do over the course of the last 12 months? What type of production? What type of volume are you rolling? Where would you like to take your business going forward? This is a great question. The next one, how do you plan on doing that? Oh, I want to make a gazillion dollars. Really? I want to, I want to, you know, I want to be a Sean Connery. The reality is how do you plan on, how do you plan on doing that? Next question is always, would you please share with me what do you like about your current brokerage partner? And then I want to, I want to understand what is their pain point. Next question is the most important question I ask. And the question is, what would you do to change or modify that relationship? What don't you like about your current brokerage partner? They are going to tell you what their needs and wants are. Which leads me to ask this question. You don't have to write this down. I'm going to send all of this to you. Oh. <clears throat> leads me to this question. If they tell me they're not, they're not getting leads or if they want more coaching. So Nancy, if the EXP brokerage platform gave you those all important leads that you're talking about, gave you the leads so you could transact more, some more real estate. And it also allows you, Nancy, to keep more of your commissions. And maybe it aligned with the direction that you want to take your real estate career by offering you multiple streams of income, one of which happens to be passive. Nancy, would you find that compelling? Would you be open-minded to exploring the platform with me? Yes, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Bingo. I mean, really, who says no to something like that? So multiple streams of income, keeping more of your commissions, and maybe aligns with the direction you want to take your real estate career. Would you be open-minded to exploring that? No. I mean, you really want to say to them, I mean, are you a fool? You can't say that, right? So I'll say, so let me understand this. If the platform allowed you to make more money and fend better for yourselves and your family, is that something you would not commit, you, you would not it's not worth 15 minutes of your time exploring together. So I'm very comfortable asking that question. I ask it one of three different ways. So Nancy, I'm going to role play with you for a second, right? So Nancy, would you be open to exploring the EXP brokerage platform if it allowed you to keep more of your commissions and maybe align with the direction that you want to take your real estate career by offering you multiple <clears throat> streams of income, one of which, Nancy, happens to be passive? Is that something you'd find compelling? Would you be open-minded? Absolutely, but I really love the broker that I'm with. Gotcha. And Nancy, I'm sure you'd agree. So she gave me what's called an objection. So everybody on mm -hmm. my team knows there are one of five objections when they hear something like that, how to respond to it. So Nancy, what I think I hear you saying is that you're really comfortable at your brokerage. Is that correct? Yeah, I've been here for 20 years. Why would I leave? So I'm now going to isolate what <laughs> Nancy said and say to her the following, Nancy, other than liking your current brokerage, is there any other reason that would inhibit you or stop you from exploring another brokerage platform that may put you in a better position to have the financial success that you're looking for? No, that's pretty much it, Eric. So now I have to overcome that objection. Nancy, would you agree that most agents like the brokerage where they're at? Otherwise, they wouldn't be working there. And the fact that they like the brokerage that they're at they may not recognize some of the other opportunities that are available to them that may, in fact, best align with the direction that they want to take their real estate career. Nancy, can you be in any better position than to simply compare and contrast what KW is offering you versus what EXP has to offer so you could either affirm 
that you are affiliated with the best brokerage partner, or perhaps that something out there may align with what you'd like to accomplish in the long term. Perhaps. My, my team leader at KW said it's not a good move. I completely understand. But wouldn't you expect your team leader at KW to say that? <laughs> <laughs> She's so nice. I really like her. <laughs> and I would imagine that you would like her. And that's why you've been working there. But Nancy, I'm not asking you for any commitment. I am not asking you for any commitment whatsoever, other than to make the following commitment. I am gonna send you out two short videos. One is nine minutes, the other is about 20, 25 minutes. I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor, to watch these videos. So when I follow up with you, you and I can have a deep and meaningful conversation. Does that sound about right? I guess I'm not moving. <laughs> Completely understand. But would you look at these videos to see <laughs> what you can do? How, how, it may, if nothing else, Nancy, it's certainly going to educate you about another platform that's out there. I'm sure that you're going to want to be aware of. Is that fair? Yeah, that sounds good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you out this email with these two videos. Will you be able to watch these videos within the next 24 to 48 hours? Well, probably this evening. Awesome. So Nancy, what I'd yeah. like to do is I'd like to take this conversation. I'd like to personalize it a little bit. It's a little, you know, I'm typically doing this on the phone. So I'm saying what I'd love to do is move away from the phone. It feels a little bit cold. And if you're even giving any consideration to exploring the platform, what I'd like to do is send you out a Zoom invite so we could put a voice with a face. So you're going to receive two emails from me. One is the email with the two videos that I just spoke about. The second is a Zoom invite. Nancy, do you happen to have your calendar in front of you? I do. It's right here. Great. Um, Nancy, we talked about the next 24 to 48 hours. That would put us at Friday. I seem to have some availability are typically mornings or afternoons. This is called an alternative close. Are mornings or afternoons better for you, Nancy? I don't know. I'm a really busy agent. So um, why don't we pencil in Friday mid-afternoon? Nancy, now watch. I am somebody that really honors my calendar. Not asking for a whole lot, but I will say I'm going to make you a priority and make sure that I respect our time together. I have you penciled into my calendar. Will you do me a favor? Would you afford me that same opportunity and put it in your calendar to ensure that we will sync up on Friday? So I'm going to button down the appointment right then and there. Okay. So real quickly, I'm going to do this really quickly. So ask Nancy the question, Nancy, would you be open-minded? If I can, will you? If I could introduce you to a brokerage platform at EXP that allowed you to keep more of your commissions and maybe aligned with the direction that you want to take your real estate career by offering you multiple streams of income, one of which happens to be passive. I've done this a couple of times. One of which happens to be passive. <laughs> would you find that compelling and open-minded? Yes, Eric, great. Great, Nancy. I'm not asking you for any commitment whatsoever. The only commitment I'm going to ask you is that I'm going to send you out two short videos. One is nine minutes, the other is 20 minutes. I'd like you to commit to watching those videos so when I follow up with you, you and I could have a deep and meaningful conversation. Does that sound about right? What I'd also like to do is set up a Zoom call to get your feedback. I want to understand what you think about eXp and I'd like to personalize the call a little bit. Being on the phone, it seems a little call, cold on a phone call. What I'd like to do is create a Zoom invite for you so you and I, I could put a, a name and a face with a voice and I'm gonna close for the appointment right there. So everybody on my team receives these templates and I'm gonna send this to Monica so she can share them with you, okay? Templates. Which videos do you send them? Uh, Brent uh, Go, uh, EXP model explain, and what else? I'm gonna pull it up right now for you. You guys see my screen? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So somebody comes aboard, you know, on my team, they hear it from me. If you're a crappy sponsor, they're going to hear it from me. I believe that we have a moral and a fiduciary responsibility that when someone entrusts us with their career, that we're doing the right thing by them, that we're giving them all of the tools and systems necessary for them to have the success that they're looking for. So again, everything that we do is template driven. Uh, first template is 
You know, hi, Nancy. Uh, I'm excited you're taking the opportunity to further explore the phenomenal benefits offered by eXp. I promise you'll not be disappointed in the fastest scoring real estate company ever and what I believe is the best real estate brokerage platform I've witnessed. You could say, if you haven't been in the industry for a long time, you just put a period <laughs> after this. I put in my 30 years in the industry. I have been very impressed with how eXp has truly differentiated itself in the marketplace. The economics are startling, which provides enormous opportunity for long-term prosperity. The five to six different revenue streams is a career game changer with income earning potential to exist long after a realtor's last transaction. Ah, I like that. Thank I look you. forward to hearing your feedback on our scheduled Zoom meeting Thursday at 2 p.m. Whatever time, you're just going to edit there. And below are a few links that you'll find super informative. The first one is the Agent Builder Pro video. It's the nine minute video. Does everyone know what this is? Yeah. Okay. Agent Builder Pro video. It's the nine minute video. The other one is Brent Go, the model explain. And he's coming out with a new one that's shorter that I'm going to incorporate. But I think Brent does a really, I think, I don't care. Brent does a better job conveying the model than, than anybody else in the organization, in my not so humble opinion. So these are the two videos that I send out. And frequently asked questions, I just put this in there as well. That makes sense to everybody? Yep. All right. Template number two. Boy, you think, boy, he is really anal retentive. I am. <laughs> getting, it's getting worse as I get older. Okay. Template number two is just an appointment confirmation, right? Somebody books an appointment with me. I want to put it out there. And not only do I put this out there, but again, I'm sending texts an hour before, a half hour before, I'm constantly staying in front of them. This is just an appointment confirm. The third email that I send out, is there are gonna be people that says, hey, I want to think about it. So give them a lot to think about. This is where I do an information dump and I let somebody know everything that they don't know about the company. Let me share this with you. This is template number three. Template number three. Hey, Steve, again, I'm excited you have decided to take a deeper dive into the eXp model. In the event you become a part of the organization, you'll be growing the fastest growing team at eXp Libertas. You would put in your group. The eXp application link is below. This will pro provide you an opportunity to review. Uh, here are a few links that provide a greater overview of the company. Please feel free to reach out with any questions. Here's the nine minute video. Here's my Calendly link, frequently asked questions, Brent again, EXP World Video, Sean Kokoska's announcement when he came over, podcast recordings, the slide deck, um, sustainable equity plan, and of course the EXP application. And the most important template that they receive and something that I go over in detail with everybody on my, in my organization is template number four, okay? Now I'm gonna open this up with you and I'm gonna share this with you. I'm getting so damn good on Zoom. I just like, <laughs> I'm the least tech savvy person in the world. I'm so proud of myself. I did not screw this up at all today. All right. <laughs> so if you look, template number four is their roadmap, how to onboard somebody. And I break this down. So there are three scripts that I use. Those are the top three on the screen. The script is the one that I've been articulating with you, right? Starts right here. Would you be receptive to exploring the eXp brokerage platform if it allowed you to keep more of your commissions and best align with the direction you would like to take your real estate business by offering you multiple streams of income, one of which is pass passive? Would you find that to be compelling and would you be open-minded? Word for word. If yes, I'm going to send you out an email with two videos. I'm not asking for you for any commitment other than to make watching the two videos, right? I don't try to change it. I try to internalize it. People see bullshit coming a million miles away. I want you to take these scripts and have them become part of your personality. It should be as, something as natural as, hey, Monica, how was your weekend? Did you catch the Bengals game? Hell, it were the Bengals. Anybody say anybody see UCLA beat LSU? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm feeling crushed LSU. So the reality is that 
you want to take these scripts and you want to internalize it so it's a part of your personality. You must approach somebody with a high level of confidence and comfortability. Otherwise, you'll never be successful at this. Don't perfect how to give the presentation. There are others that do that. Everybody in my team knows these scripts backwards and forwards. They know how to approach somebody with a high level of comfort, which is why everybody on my team makes money. Make sense? I'm going to quickly show you a couple more things here. So that is the first script. Uh, new script, right? It's just a different verbiage a little bit, right? Um, for the right real estate brokerage platform that allowed you to keep more of your hard-earned commissions with superior technology and I would say training, I take out management, while offering you four, to, four different revenue streams to ensure you make more money, one of which is residual and would allow you to earn income long after your last real estate transaction. Would you be open to exploring? Are you recruitable? Are you open-minded? You know, you need to gauge your audience, really gauge your audience. So I change the script depending on who I'm speaking to. When I say multiple streams of income, you know that there are some people that are not going to know what the hell you're talking about when you say that. So I dummy it down depending on who I speak to. Does that make sense to everybody? You guys still there? Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Um, objection handling. Tell me, can you see? Can you see what just opened up on the screen? I'm really yep. happy at. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good. All right. So, an objection is a pathway to a sale if you know how to handle it, isolate it, and overcome it with a sense of ease. If you are uncomfortable and look at somebody like a deer in the headlights, that's a red flag that they're never going to bring you into the organization. These are five main objections you're gonna hear over and over again. I'm really happy where I'm at. I need and like having an office. I never heard of EXP. I'm really loyal to my broker, right? <laughs> I need time to really think about it or the timing is just not right. What I put in red is what you are going to look at and internalize. So the next time somebody gives you an objection, instead of looking at them like a deer in headlights, you're going to get that warm and fuzzy feeling. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're going to get that warm and fuzzy feeling and think, you know what? I got this. I don't have to be intimidated. You're going to look at them in the eye with a sense of confidence, with a sense of passion, with a sense of conviction, and know that EXP is the right platform. I want you to look at template number four when you get this from me and note, take note that we're here. Just look at the things that we do here, right? I give them a roadmap. Here, complete your onboarding checklist. Contact our concierge to make sure that you're familiar with the eXp software platforms. Go and get Agent Builder Pro or use mine. Comprise a list of 30 realtors, 40 realtors, 50 realtors. I want it within the first 30 days. You then take that person by the hand and call those realtors, showing them, illustrating for them how to use the scripts. I love something that came out of the conference. It was something that Jay Kinder said. I thought it was really eloquent. What Jay said was the following. When you bring somebody on, part of the on onboarding process is ensuring that they bring somebody on with them so they have success right out of the gate. Help somebody bring, in, bring somebody into EXP immediately, provides them a sense of momentum. We do a, a group call, Libertas. That's our whole group every Thursday at 1 p.m. That's their Zoom invite. Um, I do my own call today at 2 p.m. Eastern. That's the Zoom invite where I talk about wins and accomplishments, introduction of new members, EXP news, tools and strategies, agent attraction calls. I need to update this no longer Monday, but Wednesday and Thursdays, right? This gives everybody a roadmap so they are really really clear about what their responsibilities are if they want to have the success that they're looking for. My goal is to take that horse to water so they could drink. Their responsibility is to drink the water. My job isn't done until I do a thorough job. I think the worst thing that somebody could do is bring somebody on board with malcontent, knowing that you're not giving them all everything that they deserve. If they choose not to be successful, that falls upon them. But we need to be true to ourselves. We need to come at this 
in the most spiritually healthy possible, spiritually healthy way possible, that someone entrusted us with their career. This is how they fend for themselves and their family. We need to take that seriously. We do not have an open door policy at my group where we bring somebody in and then there's an open door where they just exit. That doesn't happen. And I mean, I will come down. I mean, as you can imagine, you probably could tell from my tone sometimes. Yeah. I mean, the hammer will come down. <laughs> you know, um, I will not have my name associated with something where we're not giving it our all. The last thing that I really want to talk to you about, well, first let me ask you, do you have any questions about the system that I talked about? And how many people do you call every day? I call a lot, right? So I have a really nice setup. I'm staring at the beaches I'm talking to. I live right smack in Miami Beach. So I don't mind standing in front of my computer and watching the beautiful scenery outside of my window. It's really wonderful. There's lots of beautiful people here. The women are gorgeous. The weather is enticing. So it's a, it's a nice setup that I have. Um, but I call 60, 70 people a day. A day. A day. I get up in the morning at 5 a.m. <laughs> I'm not religious, but I am spiritual. I meditate and I manifest really clearly, really clear about what I want personally and professionally, right? I'm really clear about that. And then I just joined somebody in our group. I was really jealous of this guy. I could not believe it. You know, I, I don't remember the last time I was jealous in my life. And you ever meet somebody and you just knew that they had their shit together? Monica, you know, <laughs> right? And you're like, man, his tone is not so harsh, you know? He's got a really nice way about him. And then, you know, that self-talk went on, right? Oh, I got 1,100 people. He's only got 30, so I'm obviously better than him. And every time he opened his mouth, I'm like, you know, there's something really cool about him. And I actually joined um, his coaching platform. He's a coach. Um, he's a certified coach with Bob Proctor. And it was really, like, so adult-like of me. Because <laughs> God knows I'm an adult. It was so, it was so adult-like of me to kind of put my ego to the side <laughs> and be coached by Kevin Yoder. Monica, you met him. In Dallas. Yes. He's just an incredible person. And I'm going to tell you, since I've coached with Kevin, I've brought in seven people. So I've brought in 50 so far, seven are in the last week that have not yet hit the books. So I'll have 57. I've brought in seven people since I started coaching with Kevin. And my conversations are just different. It's all about connecting with them. It's all about manifesting. So I start my morning by meditating and then I go through Bob Proctor's coaching platform. And then I take my phone and I go on a walk along the boardwalk. I walk for about five miles every morning and I put in my headset and I listen to Power of Awareness, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I listen to boat books that motivate me on Audible, right? So I'm walking and sweating and listening and nourishing my mind. But I do that every single morning and then I come back, I shave and shower. And I start my day and I make about 60 phone calls. And um, I want to say something to each and every one of you. I mean, you could tell that Monica has put together a really good group of people. You could see all of you smiling. You're nice people. Be nice to yourselves, man. Be nice to yourselves. You know, I've always believed, I'm going to say something to you. you know, I'm a former investment banker. I was one of the more successful realtors in this country. And I was a fairly well-respected. I was the only real estate coach in the country that was promoted by all four or five of the major title companies. And I always believed that I never was worthy of it, right? I always sabotaged myself, sabotaged relationships. I sabotaged this. I had my own crap going on, right? All of you are worthy. You have to embrace what it is that you want. You have to manifest it and you have to go after it with a sense of passion. I promise you, if you take the next 12 to 18 months, two years, and work this, you'll build wealth beyond your mind, beyond your wildest dreams. I'm telling you, in April of 2019, I just started dating somebody at the time. It was embarrassing, right? We were in like six dates. And after a six date, I said, hey, by the way, can I borrow four, four grand? You know, I was like, I had no money. I mean, <laughs> right? The hell of a price, right? The hell of a price you got. Hey, by the way, you want to go on a date? Do you mind paying and loan me $4,000? You know, the reality is in eight months, 18 months, that cold call to Orlando Montiel. I will bet anybody here today, Orlando has 30 to 40,000 people in his organization within the next five to seven years. It's incredible, incredible. That phone call made me a multi, multi, multi-millionaire. And it could happen to each and every one of you. EXP is for real. EXP is something different. EXP is a platform that if every realtor 
doesn't look at this with their eyes wide open, it's ultimately going to come back and bite them in the ass. And you should be able to recite with clarity what makes EXP so incredible. You should know that it's the highest level of coaching, training, and support that's ever been seen in the industry. 40 to 60 hours of live coaching and training each and every week, arming you, Mr. and Mrs. Realtor, with tools and systems that will allow you to elevate your business. There are 500 full-time employees that are in the cloud waiting at your beck and call to answer any questions that you have so you could transact in the most efficient manner possible. Are those things not important to you? And aside from the support, coaching, and training, do you realize that EXP with multiple streams of income, it provides realtors for the first time ever to have a sense of financial security and stability that's never before seen involved in real estate. The five main income streams, and there are some dummies that I shouldn't say that. I got to watch what I say sometimes. There are some people that say, oh, there's 19 income streams or nine income streams. Less is more. Less is more. People start hearing it and they're like, oh, BS. I keep it at five main income streams because it's more digestible for my audience. It's not about me talking and being on stage tonight when I do the agent traction call. It is about me connecting with the people that are listening by keeping it short and simple. There are five main income streams at EXP. We have a cap of $16,000. It's the lowest cap in the industry out of all of the full service brokerage firms that are out there. If you look at the traditional real estate model, it's about a split, 60, 40, 70, 30, 80, 20, whatever it is. The problem with the traditional split, that is we as realtors make more money, we're in fact paying more money to our broker. Is that correct? Now, we don't wake up after January and go, oh, gosh, my goal is to pay my broker as much money as possible the same way as I want to pay the IRS. <laughs> our goal is to keep more of what we make so we can fend better for ourselves and our family. EXP provides every realtor the incredible opportunity if they work at a traditional brokerage firm by simply transferring their license from where they're at to EXP. Folks, they're giving themselves a pay increase. And it's an increase that they don't have to beg anybody for. Second income stream comes in the form of lead gen. You know, as a national real estate coach for years, I'd walk into large, large rooms with people. And I'd sit in front of that room, I'd stand in front of the room. I wish I'd sat, but I stand in front of the room and I teach them how to ask the right qualifying questions so they can build out that all important database of buyers and sellers so they can be more productive selling real estate. The industry has changed. I used to sit there talking about knocking on hundreds of doors a day or walking farm areas. The market has changed. And EXP is a relationship with a company called KB Core. KB Core is widely considered the best CRM in the industry. And as a matter of fact, if any one of you would look to purchase it, if you went online, you'd see it would cost you $6,600 a month. Almost 600 bucks a month. At eXp, you have the good fortune of getting this tool for free. But you know what makes eXp so one, what makes KB Core so terrific? It has a lead generating mechanism. And if you put in place a minimal ad spend campaign of four to five bucks a day, a simple Starbucks coffee, if you spend four to five dollars a day, do you realize that you'll generate north of 100 leads a month? 100 leads a month. If you're getting 100 leads a month, I could tell you as one of the founders of Movoto that internet leads convert at two to 4% as long as a realtor is super responsive and focused on cementing and nurturing a relationship. If you're getting 100 leads and converting two to 4%, do you realize that's 24 to 48 extra transactions in your hopper? The relationship that EXP has forged with KB Core puts every realtor at EXP in the incredible position that if, if they take the time to learn KB Core and it's not easy to use, it's going to take you three to four weeks. But if you take the time to master KB Core and carefully integrate it in your business, you as a realtor are able to take your business to a level that most realtors never dream possible. Third income stream is really incredible. Anybody in today's call? have any form of ownership or equity in the real estate brokerage that you helped to build at eXp. We as realtors own a good slug of the company. Did you realize that when you work at eXp, you are given free stock. This is a grant, a gift, a reward. This is not an option that a realtor pays for. You are given a grant 
for hitting simple milestones. First grant comes when we as agents sell our first property. On your anniversary every year, when you sell a property, you're gonna be given free equity or ownership in the company that you're helping to build in the form of stock. By the way, have you seen our stock price? Anybody? 50. 46 today. 46. It went from $3 to almost $50 last week. Our market cap, $7.2 billion. Do you realize it dwarfs the two industry bellwethers, Remax and Rheology, by billions and billions and billions? At EXP, you're given free stock when you make your first sale every year. You're given a second stock grant every time you sponsor an agent to do the organization and they sell their home, they sell their first home, you'll be given a second stock grant. You receive a third stock grant when you hit your cap of $16,000. Remember, as I said before, everybody at EXP is on an 80-20 split. So the broker EXP is taking 20%. When an, AD, when an agent does $80,000 in gross commissions, 20% of the 80,000 is the 16,000. When you hit that cap, you'll receive a third stock grant. And anybody at EXP who earns what we call an, the icon status becomes an icon agent at the company. An icon status is earned when an agent does half a million in gross commission or they do 20 sides after they cap. In the event that happens, the $16,000 that the realtor had paid to EXP, EXP returns that $16,000 in the form of a fourth stock grant. Now you have to hold the stock for three years and allow it to vest, but do you realize ICON agents are paying EXP zero, not a nothing. Not only are they getting back the 16,000, but if you look at how our stock has performed, that's $16,000. Your money is now working for you. I know, I know agents, at EXP who have made millions and millions of dollars by having equity and ownership in the fastest growing real estate company ever. And then the last thing that I talk about is RevShare. That EXP provides agents, one second, one quick second. Hey bud, I have not forgotten, I'm in the middle of a Zoom, I'll call you back, love you. My son, always, sorry. I didn't speak to him last night. Um, at EX, um, what I talk about is the incredible opportunity that every agent has at EXP to transform their business from being solely transactional to creating a passive income stream. You, Mr. and Mrs. Realtor, no longer have to feel like every month you have a gun being held to your head that if you don't produce, you're not able to fend for yourself and your family. What type of stress or anxiety would alleviate if you had what we call wake up or mailbox money by having the incredible opportunity to build out an organization somewhat like a broker with none of the disadvantages the broker has and many, many more advantages. And I talk about how the platform works at EXP, that when you join EXP, you have the incredible opportunity to build out an organization and create a passive income stream where money is wired into your account the 21st or 22nd of every month. The brilliance of the model is that EXP being cloud-based doesn't have brick and mortar they have the unique opportunity to take 50% of their revenues, which by the way, was a billion dollars the last quarter. It was announced a couple of weeks ago in our quarterly report. They take 50% of their, of their revenues and give it back to the agents who are simply sharing the EXP platform with other agents and sponsoring them into the organization. I'm also gonna send you out my PowerPoint. Any one of you are invited to participate in the calls, I don't, hold back anything that we're doing. I believe that it's simply about applying yourself. And I convey this all the time to everybody in my organization. I said something before and it's worth repeating again. All of you are worthy of having the success that you want, need and desire, right? All of you don't have to look <laughs> at the mirror when you're, putting on your, when you're shaving or when you're putting on your makeup and thinking, can I afford this or not? That's not a great way to live. You have an opportunity here. I am a former investment banker. I was part of the team that took Google, eBay, Yahoo, and Amazon public. And I'm gonna make a bold statement. I believe that the eXp platform as a business platform is as viable as any business platform I have seen, regardless of industry sector, because of the inherent benefit that it provides to realtors, not just here nationally, but on a global basis. Reach for the moon and grab the damn stars. You're worthy. It's okay to live like a superstar. It's okay to be a superstar. It is okay to take that inner child from within 
and give that child everything that it deserves. EXP is the best business model I've seen in 60 years. And I believe it's the best model I'm going to see going forward. I drank the Kool-Aid. I am all in. And it took <laughs> two years, right? I used to sit and belittle the company. I'm a national real estate coach. I'm never talking to realtors. I talked to realtors enough standing in front of a room and having to coach them. There's no way I'm doing this. And the reality, it made me more money doing this in 18 months than I ever dreamed of making. I'm going to make $2 million a month at EXP within the next six years. You can write it down. I manifested it, so it has to happen, right? People are going to, people are going to go home and talk about manifesting to their significant others all night. We got to manifest, yeah. <laughs> right? You're living in your own reality. It's wonderful. But um, can I answer any questions for you guys? I hope that this was helpful today. This is awesome. I have one. Did you? Did she loan you the $4,000? <laughs> <laughs> she did. She loaned me the $4,000. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. So she joined EXP. <laughs> <laughs> so how much money I'm making, and I am actually helping. You know, I don't know where. I'm moving to Puerto Rico, so I'm leaving Miami. I'm moving to Puerto Rico. And it's really funny. I grew up in New York till I was 18. <laughs> I went to college. I went to college in California. We all going to be with you in Puerto Rico, Puerto so. Rico yeah. so I spent the last 40 years in California until I moved to Miami two and a half years ago. And I've loved Miami, uh, but I am moving to Puerto Rico in four months. And then I decided to go back to my roots and I'm going to do Puerto Rico for two weeks. And I just, um, I'm getting a really nice apartment in Manhattan. I'm going to buy a beautiful Tribeca or Flatiron. And I'm going to go back and forth every two weeks. Nice. So did you pay so, her back and are you still dating her? <laughs> um, so we, we have a very, I, you know, I always get asked that. We have a very tumultuous relationship, but <laughs> I am loyal and I'm leaving here shortly. I'll let you read between the lines. And mm -hmm. I, I believe that, you know, when the chips were down, she was there for me. So I'll build her, her organization and I'm putting people underneath her right now. So I just feel it's the right thing to do. The more you give, the more you receive. And I'm, I think at the end of the day, it's important to like what you see when you look in the mirror. And I'm not talking about your outward beauty. I think it's about what's inside. And I think that, you know, how you act in the world comes back to you. So I'm building her, her business. Wow. Eric, thanks for your time. But I got a quick question. Uh, Please. Jay, uh, Please. Jay talked about in Puerto Rico, uh, he and another group of guys are going to get together to try to speed up some of the processes that they have over there in Puerto Rico since everything is so slow. <laughs> Are you a part of that group? You know, I'm not very corporate as you can probably tell. I keep my head down, I keep my mouth shut and I focus on helping people being of service. I don't, you know, I don't sit there. I mean, it was the craziest thing. Monica will tell you, like people were running up to people at EXP. Can I take your, my picture with you? And I was like, I was horrified. I was like, take my picture with you. Why the hell would I want to take my picture? Yes, if you're beautiful, yeah, I want to have my picture taken. <laughs> <laughs> Miami is rubbing off on you, bro. <laughs> but you know, I mean, it was crazy. I mean, you know, just focus on being of service to people by reaching out and trying to be kind and trying to help somebody have a better life by introducing them to EXP, and it will it will pay you back in dividends. So, in answer to your question, I am not part of that group. I mean, I've become friendly with Michael Valdez because he lives here in Miami, so we have dinner together once every two or three weeks. But um, I'm not very much into the corporate side. I focus, you know, I sit here in my apartment, I watch the ocean and I make my phone calls and I'm having more fun. I'm having more fun and enjoying life <laughs> than I ever have. I'm in a really good place. I'm happy. And I attribute that to really loving what I'm doing. I believe in EXP wholeheartedly. Um, I love the platform. And I really do think it makes a difference in realtors' lives if they're willing to embrace it. Any other questions, guys? Feel free. I mean, there's nothing. You are sending that information over, correct? I will. I'm going to forward it. Monica, do I have your email? I'll text you. Yeah, if you'll text me your email, that'd be awesome. <clears throat> I'll have all of this out to you and use it. And if you guys have any questions about it, feel free to pick up the phone and call me. As you can imagine, I mean, I'm not real good not having conversations. Can you imagine me being alone for like hours? No, no, seriously. If you have a question. what you ask for, Eric. <laughs> yeah, I do spend a lot of my time giving back, but I do believe that it also comes back to me in so many different ways. 
if anybody has any questions, uh, you want to role play this, want to role play the scripts, or you have any questions, feel free, feel free to pick up the phone and reach out to me. The best. Thank you for your Thank time. You so write down, guys. Write down my number. My my cell phone number is four one five five nine five nine thousand. Four one five five nine five nine zero zero zero. If you have any questions, honor it. Be my pleasure to be of service and to be able to help you in the way that I can. Thank you so much. Can you believe I got to do Thank this? Thank you. Now I have to do this with my group at two o'clock. It's crazy. Yay. You really enjoyed. You guys are great in Cincinnati, by the way. I won't say it yet, but I just took a great age in Cincinnati, by the way. They're out there. Everybody's moving. Wow. Who did I you somebody, take? I heard, somebody go, I heard somebody go, I heard somebody say, asshole. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is Monica. They're blaming it on her. <laughs> I, 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 cold, I cold called this agent and had a great conversation with her. And um, yeah, I'm pretty confident she's going to come over. She's not signed the app yet, so we'll see. But I'm pretty confident she's going to come over. Send her link here, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, last thing I want to say to you, don't just focus in Cincinnati. Remember, we're a global company. We are a global company. So I don't spend much time calling agents here in Florida. I go, I'm all over the country. Anywhere. Anywhere and everywhere. I'll close this by saying, how do you meet agents? Go to a couple events a week. I don't care if it's a board event, lending event, a title event. Go to a couple events a week. Number two, go in the MLS. Pick out an area and get the listing agent's name and phone number. If you're going out on a Saturday or Sunday for lunch, stop by six open houses, flash that big smile, connect with somebody, and then call back later. You could always hire a virtual assistant, which are cheap. And you now have the scripts to utilize a virtual assistant to help you build your business. VA, right? And again, don't be afraid of going whale hunting. Look for influencers. One influencer will change the course of your entire business. Orlando Montiel, that phone call made me rich. They call it the million dollar, they call it the million dollar cold call. You can do this. You can do this. The only thing that's stopping you is yourself. You could do this. Take the time to learn the scripts. You'll learn it in a couple of hours and then just practice it, have fun with it, own it. So you can approach somebody with a sense of confidence and comfortability. You guys have a kick-ass rest of the week, enjoy. And like I said, if you have any questions, I'll be traveling tomorrow. I'll be back in Miami on, um, on Sunday. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Monica, thank you for inviting me, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.